shout a big hallelujah. Someone who knows that all of Europe will never be the same, shout a big hallelujah. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the light of your river flow. And let the truth of your kingdom, let it reign in us tonight, Father. Let the way of your glory, let the way of your glory for people of God you would find many instances in the Bible when the Lord is about to move in a very strategic way on the earth whether it's in the valley of dry bones or in the upper room you would always know that there's a sound that precedes the move of God. This apostolic conference has been, has been called the sound of revival. The Bible says, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm upon my holy mountain. We're about to receive the ministry of one of God's strategic ministers. He blows the shofar both in the physical and in the realm of the spirit. Wherever his sound is heard, revival takes place. People of God, can we clap our hands and give the Lord a big shout of praise as we receive the ministry of God's servant, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Nice. <laughs> I have to say that that was a really good save. I wager that David Dam is skilled at catching curveballs. The poor guy actually went up to lead worship and he just started to sing when Pastor Nath walked in. Of course there was an ovation so he had to pause. He tried to make a second attempt when Pastor Nath and his musicians took the stage. That was the cheering you heard again. So he graciously handed over to them with that terrific introduction. <laughs> Guys, you gotta respect pastors and ministers. Though. That ability to speak extemporaneously is something that should be given a seven gone salute. Well done, sir. Hi folks, welcome to the Glory Plane. My name is Zimi Glory. Let's worship.
Just pray in the spirit, everyone.
Nathaniel Bassi has found something in God, my God. What he carries is so precious, so beautiful, so solid, and yet quite volcanic. If you missed his ministration at Koinonia UK, I won't say you missed because you're watching this now. I will say that it was like being in a Benny Hinn Holy Ghost meeting and a Billy Graham crusade at the same time. Oh, and if you've ever listened to Jimmy Swaggart, there was that same oil on his worship. It's a safe Pastor Nat tapped into the anointing of worshippers through the ages and brought forth this masterpiece. The glory was all over the place. Yo, I could go on and on. So let me allow you get a taste of the glory in this segment. It's actually my favorite. My God.
who dwells in the unapproachable light. King of kings, Lord of lords, King of kings, Lord of lords, King of kings, great I am.
prophesy with it. Music like this that makes me look forward to heaven. Can you imagine what a symphony it will be? And because God makes all things new, there won't be any frog voices or things of that discordant nature. So can you imagine the melody and the harmony? Can you imagine all hearts and eyes focused on the one and only, the immortal, invisible, God only wise? Yesterday, I was listening to a podcast by Janice. Janice and EJ Gaines and Mr. EJ was saying how he grew up around gospel music that in fact he enjoyed gospel music so much that he joined the choir because he couldn't get enough of it eventually the spirit began working on his heart and he surrendered his life to God if you're watching this and you're just like Mr. Gaines you grew up in church, so you love gospel music. You enjoy the presence. You can't get enough of the melodies and harmonies, but you don't have a relationship with God. This is me saying to you that you're playing yourself. It's not about how beautiful the music is. It is whether you're in right relationship with Jesus. If you haven't given your life to Christ, I'd like you to take a moment to confess your sins and invite him in. If you've broken fellowship with him, it's time to do the same. Consecrate your life to God afresh and disavow everything you previously pledged allegiance to. And so Lord, I pray that under this atmosphere of your presence, everyone who's broken fellowship with you or never had one to begin with, that you'll bring conviction that will cause them to see that the enemy has been playing them for fools all this while. I ask that you will cause them to surrender their hearts, their souls, and their bodies to you forever. I ask that they will be such who will put their hands on the plow and never look back. I ask that they and their generation will serve you all their days in Jesus' name. Let's get back to worship. I'm sure it will sound utterly different to you now.
rising from the rising. Everyone singing. song permit me if you don't know it but just flow in the spirit i keep hearing it
exalted in this land. That came to us by revelation somebody had a revelation about this moment and sent his song to me and I, as I you know thought about it it bore witness with my heart and I felt strongly it's the song we have to release tonight oh hell King Jesus. with your hands lifted
Hallelujah. I'd like us to give my dear friend and brother, Pastor Nat, a big, big God bless. See, the night of this ministration, I kept switching from singing loudly to praying to groaning to crying to laughing. It was a lot going on at the same time. The presence was heavy. I could feel it. So I hope you've had no less an experience than what I had. This isn't music for the angels. It is music with the angels and the 20 and four elders and the Lamb. One of the moments I look forward to experiencing in church is that which is recorded in 1 Kings 8, 10 to 11. And it came to pass when the priests were come out of the holy place that the cloud filled the house of the Lord so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of the Lord. I've heard about moments like that in Kenneth Hagin Sr.'s ministry when a holy hush would fill the church and everyone, without being told, would go flat on their faces before God. But it's not something I've seen in these times, so I look forward to seeing it on this side of eternity. If you've hung up with God to this point, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And God bless Pastor Nathaniel Bassi and Apostle Selma.